Hey, how's everybody doing today? I thought I would make this video addressing a comment that I got a couple weeks ago, or actually a couple days ago, that I just happened to stumble across it. Um, for some reason, YouTube blocks a lot of the comments that have links to other videos. So I guess uh, for those of you that might have been leaving comments with links to other videos or to websites, keep in mind that I might not see your comment if you do that. So you might want to refrain from doing that and rather just kind of uh, point towards the title of the video or the title of whatever it is that whatever website you might be referring me to. Um, in any case, um, excuse the mess that I have in the back. It, Christmas time, starting to get a lot of the boxes out for the Christmas tree and the decorations. But um, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the question here. And it reads, it's from uh, Husband Me from YouTube says, Hi George, uh, what is your video? Uh, what is your view on the future of network in the networking field and automation? Will network engineers be replaced by automated scripts written by developers? I just saw a video, Python versus CCIE, uh, which he linked further down, which really made me think about my future. Should I aim for the CCIE or learn automation and programming, because that is where the future lies? Um, these videos that I'm referring to are below. So again, that's the reason why I didn't get the video, get the um, the comment sooner. But this is a very interesting question, and within Cisco, there's definitely a big push for engineers to learn Python and learn programmability. So it's it's certainly something that's being pushed down to pretty much everybody at Cisco that has anything to do with engineering at all, even on the sales side, like myself. You know, we, we have to learn some of that. And um, so I've started working on some of the Python uh, scripting and automation. But um, do I think, I guess the first question was, do I think that a computer or, or, do, or do I think that developers are eventually going to get rid of network engineers? And the simple answer is I don't believe so. What I do see is that a lot of the silos that we see in IT are slowly starting to break and starting to kind of convolute together. So if you're familiar with data center and the UCS system, it's a lot of that is kind of combining the server side over with the networking side and kind of putting all of that together. Same goes with ACI, uh, is application centric infrastructure, the software defined networking solution from Cisco is really starting to break a lot of that, uh, the DevOps and the programmability of data center switching and really integrating it with not only just the network, but also the servers and the firewalls and load balancers, layer two, layer three devices um, that are ultimately being affected by uh, the APIC controller uh, in ACI. A little, went a little bit deep there, but so, Really, I think there's always going to be a need for network engineers. I do see the increased need of network engineers needing to learn programmability. Now, do I think that you should learn programmability before you get your CCIE? Uh, personally, uh, I think that if you're going to go into development, uh, I would say, yes, start learning Python. If you really enjoy doing coding, uh, if you're maybe like a um, computer engineering major uh, or computer science major, I should say, you should really look at, into that if you have any kind of um, interest in the networking field. If you're coming from more of a, um, like a CIS background or a network engineering background or studying that, I would say you probably would uh, be safe going towards your CCIE um, first. Now, of course, I, I don't, you didn't state whether or not you were a network engineer or whether you were in college in this comment. I imagine that you, you're in college. Um, but in any case, I think if you were to not necessarily go for your CCIE, but let's just say you went for your CCNA first, getting that fundamental network knowledge would be great for you if you're going to become a, you know, a 
Python or Perl or Scripter, right? Needing to understand the fundamentals of networking is important if you're going to be programming for networking, right? So that's kind of um, what I would say to you. And that's really, it really falls on you on whether or not you want to be a network engineer or a developer. And there are certainly, um, you know, to me, I think that's more of a, what kind of a, well, what do you actually like to do? I was going to say what kind of a person you are, but I, I think that's irrelevant, really. I think it's where are your passions? Do you like to sit down and code? Do you like to sit down and integrate um, uh, routers and switches and firewalls? So I guess do whatever makes you happy. And I think in any case, whether you end up as a developer or a programmer, uh, you're going to be very successful. Now, uh, you did mention CCIE, so... I'll go ahead and, and update you here. A lot of the CCIEs, or in fact, all of the CCIE written exams are going to start including um, some of these newer bleeding edge technologies or leading edge technologies uh, like IoT for the Internet of Things, programmability, ACI. That's going to be 10% of every CCIE written exam from now on or in six months or so when the new CCIE exams come up. But um, so it's already kind of being instilled even for those that aren't necessarily going after a CCIE in data center where, where they already have the next version for CCIE data center is going to have ACI. It doesn't matter if you're doing collaboration, you're going to need to know at least a little bit 10% of IoT, ACI, programmability to some extent. I don't imagine it'll be very deep, but to some extent, you do need to know. And I think as the industry kind of moves along, it'll become more and more of a of something that you're going to see implemented into the CCIE, the CCNP, the CCNA. So honestly, just follow your dreams and, and do what it is that you really enjoy doing and do that absolutely 100% of the way. So that's my answer to you. Uh, for this question. Hope you all enjoyed the video and I'm going to try to make more of these videos where I answer some of the comments up here and uh, generate more content for you guys. So thank you guys again. Like and subscribe if you do and if you'd like to see more videos uh, let me know. Have a great day.